A brutal and sustained attack. That's how Chief Justice Helen Morell described the assault unleashed on Frankie Prinius. Today, Jason Newby was sentenced to 20 years for the killing after pleading guilty to stabbing him nearly 40 times. Mr Prinius's family remains distraught. Frankie was a jewel, a jewel in a crown. He was, uh, he was, he was a beautiful child, a cheeky, handsome, lovable, respectful, loved by all, one in, a, one in a billion. The crime was so brutal, Chief Justice Helen Morell refused to show video of the scene in court. The images of the scene show what can only be described as a bloodbath. Mr Prinius was attacked at the home of a woman he'd only met that night. He was trapped in her bedroom, unable to escape or defend himself as Newby struck. The Chief Justice said Newby had never shown any remorse, even laughing and telling his mother it was hilarious when she read an ABC story to him in jail. She said he was driven by anger and jealousy, aimed at the woman. It was an assertion of dominance and control. Mr Prinius's family says the court process has been harrowing, with today's result offering no respite. He's lost 10 years of his life. My son has lost 60 years of his life. I can't, I can't understand it. I can't work it out. It's, it's, we're all in, we're all in total dismay, total shock. The victim's family and friends packed the public gallery. As Newby was sentenced, they clapped. One of them remarking, "Have a nice life, friend." Newby did not react. He's been in custody since the incident and will remain there for at least nine more years until he's eligible for parole in 2030. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.